Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to limit the number of rows in Informatica Power Center mappings. The agenda of this video is to see when do we need to limit the number of rows, how to limit the number of rows and then we will see a demo of the same. Why to limit the number of rows? You might have a scenario where it is important to limit the number of the lines to be read from the source table while designing a power center mapping. So in such kind of situation or scenario, using a source qualifier would be the best option. We will provide the query in the source qualifier and then we can limit the number of rows in the mapping. In such situation, if we use a filter, trans filter transformation, that cannot be a good option because it may increase the performance issues. Now we will go and see how to do this. The steps to limit the number of the rows are we will go and edit the source qualifier of the object and then we will go to the properties tab and add the SQL query and, and then with the query, we will be able to limit the number of the records. So let's go ahead and see the demo of the same. So here I have created a pass through mapping and in my source qualifier, I'll go to the properties tab and, in, and go to the SQL query. In the SQL query, we will write the query as select star from our source table name where the row number is less than any value one. I have provided three. So in my case, I should get only two records being reflected. So now I have this mapping. I will go ahead and start this workflow. I see that my session is, has run successfully. Now we will go and retrieve the session log. In the session log, we can see that our source qualifier query has been picked and with, then we can see that the number of the rows which got affected or applied is 2. So with this, we understood that how we can limit the number of rows in our mapping. With this, we finish our demo session. You can try this and let us know if this was useful. You can refer to our knowledge base articles. The link for the same is given in the slide. You can also refer to our command reference guide. The link is given in the slide. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on InfoSupport. Thank you so much for your time.